Hey, hope you guys are doing well. This is Edgars from Solo Marketer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a quiz funnel for free on System.io um, in hopefully less than 20 minutes. I'll try to make it quick. So, what is a quiz funnel on System.io perfect for? Basically, yeah, there are different ways, different types of scenarios uh, you can build a quiz for. Yeah, you can do just a basic questionnaire to ask questions to uh, to your followers. You can do some sort of a survey with an incentive. For example, um, you offer them a free lead magnet after they fill out the survey and give you their, their name and email. That can be like a lead generation method. And we'll actually uh, uh, look into it. Uh, that will be the example we're going to do in this one. And uh, yeah, you can also do a questionnaire where you offer them a relevant affiliate product in the end, uh, sort of a quiz affiliate funnel. And yeah, if I have already created that video, it's probably there should be a card somewhere up here. So, you know, if there's there is one, you can click on it, open up another video and watch that afterwards. That's a different type of quiz funnel. Also, before we start, if you're interested, I also left a link below uh, where you can claim a free one click uh, download template of a uh, of this quiz funnel on system.io. It's basically yeah, just it's easy to claim, easy to add it to your free account or paid account, whatever it is. You can just, yeah, it's fairly simple. And also it comes with a with a setup explainer video, which like walks you through everything for that specific situation. And also it comes with like a welcome email template that you can just fill out for your own needs. Uh, so yeah, make sure to check it out after the video. Also remind you afterwards, once I'm done with this, I'm going to let you know. So yeah, as you can guys see here, I have prepared like an example landing page of like a, uh, this is not a real product or a business or whatever, but just like to get, to save time, uh, in the health niche and weight loss, um, uh, just a kind of a, yeah, placeholder template. And then I can put in the quiz here and the quiz will be, uh, three questions just to give you like a, like a good example of how it works. And then in the end, we're going to collect their name and email, and then we're going to deliver them a freebie that we promised and, I don't know, in an ad or whatever. In case people often ask this question before we start, um, how long should your quiz be? And uh, it often just depends on what kind of information you need. Like how much is it like just two questions enough? Like what the purpose of your quiz is, right? So it can be two questions. It can be three, like this example, it can be 10, as long as you reach your, you know, achieve your goal, what, what it was with this quiz. But keep in mind that the longer it is, the longer the quiz is, the uh, the less people will actually complete it and fill it out. No matter what's at the other end, whatever you give them, it's just the more questions, the more clicks or whatever, it's just the less people will do it. So, you know, keep that in mind. So I would keep it between three to seven questions. That's probably like a sweet spot from my experience, but you can test out different things. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to do a quiz with three questions. And yeah, I have the questions pre-prepared so I don't have to, you know, think on the spot and waste time. So uh, the first thing you want to do is scroll down all the way down to survey, drag it in. And here's where we're actually going to create the survey, which the first part will be the, the survey itself, the quiz, the questionnaire, whatever. And the second part will be the lead generation part that will lead them to like a thank you page afterwards. So first, let's work on the three questions. First thing you want to do is once you have clicked on the quiz, you want to go to edit survey questions. So this is where you're going to be typing in all the questions and possible answers. And they can you can for the answers, you can do uh, multiple choice and they can be either just select one or you can also do one where they can type in the answer. So I'll show you both. So the first question is uh, Let's just do, yeah, let's just do this. Let's delete it. Let's do what's your weight loss goal, right? So since it's weight loss, you know, let's just do, actually, I'm just going to paste it in. I'm not going to type it out, have them pre-prepared. So achieving a specific target. The second one will be this. And then this will be the third one, right? So we have three. Uh, as you can see here, you can tag people as well, right? So this is like an example one. With a free account, you only get one tag. So technically you can, but not much of a purpose. If you have like a startup plan, then I think you get like 10 tags. Uh, you can create them beforehand. You can tag people with specific things. Like if there's like one crucial question, 
Um, and then you can like, there's going to be a question later, for example, do you have a specific diet? And there's like, you know, keto, vegan, vegetarian, whatever. Maybe that's like the really crucial question. So you can tag people based on that. So you can send them different emails based on their diets. So that's kind of a thing to keep in mind. <clears throat> that's an extra functionality. But in this case, I'm not going to use it because I don't just, this is like a, I just, I'm doing this on a free account just so you can see that everything can be done on a free account. So we'll just keep it as is. That's it. You just click back. There's no save, nothing. Next one, add question, click on it. Let's do what's your preferred exercise style. These are all just completely made up. This is not a real thing. Um, add answer. If you need more, yeah, just click on add answer. It opens up a second one. Again, do three to four usually. That's, but again, there's no, if it's too many, if it's like 10, then it'll need to scroll. It will be confusing. So I wouldn't recommend doing more than five, maybe. Let's add another one. And let's go back. And then let's do a last one, which will have a little bit of a an extra thing in it. So uh, it will be, do you have a specific diet, right? And then there's like a million way, a million different diets or whatever. So obviously the first option would be just no, right? And then the, we can do... You can do something like uh, vegan, vegetarian, right? And then you can do, I don't know, keto. And then for the last one, since there's so many, I mean, I'm not an expert. This is just something I came up with on the spot. Let's do a fifth one that says open-ended answer. And we can do, so this will be the text that shows up for them. They can be other type in your answer here and you'll see in a second what it looks like so that's those are the five options no diet then we actually give them three options like some with popular ones right and then the uh they can type in their own answer as like other so let's go back that should be it let's do three questions um Let's click away. Let's quickly reformat the color. Yeah, you see the text is weird. Let's do the text. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but let's just do eh? white for now. It's not great, but yeah, let's do that. So that is the first element, the quiz, right? So for the second element, which is the final step, see there's two survey final step. Let's click on that and we're going to collect Again, we're going to keep it extremely simple. Before we told them about the quiz, we told them if they fill it out, they get a freebie lead, like a like a free guide on weight loss or whatever. So at the end, once they fill it out, they give their email and name. And then in exchange for that, they get added to your mailing list. In exchange for that, you give them the freebie on the thank you page in this case. But there's different ways of doing it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to collect the name and email. Let's do that. First name. Right. This is by default. This is here already. So there's nothing. Yeah, nothing, nothing much to do. I would do maybe here. I would click on the button and change the text and also one more crucial thing. So uh, complete this. Something like that. Right. Uh, I'm going to do I'm not going to do yellow because the button shouldn't match like all some of the main elements. It should stand out from the page. So whatever it is, green, maybe red stands out. Right. If it was yellow, they could barely see it. So let's save. And now we can go. I guess we can check the thank you page. What happens after they fill it out? What's the page which will be? Let's click on it. So, yeah, they submit the form. And we take them to the next step. That's going to be the thank you page. Save it. Let's leave. And this is going to be, which again, after you finish this down below the template, all of this is preset already. You don't have to, you can, you can just adjust the page to your needs. And the thank you page will be there as well. And let's go edit that. Uh, we can do something like, thank you so much for taking the time to respond. 
do our free guide on not to lose 20 pounds in three months well whatever it is i've never done anything specific to this so uh just as an example and then we can do where's the button i always lose it there we go we can go here and then they can you know you can uh, do open url and then you paste the url to the to the freebie lead magnet right so that's that's how you can do the thank you page and we're gonna see what it looks like in real life right now we're going to go through the quiz and then I'm going to show you where to find the answers. Because let's say you send this out to a bunch of people and you actually need to collect the information. So there's a way to see all that information. Let's go to the squeeze page. Let's uh, take the link. Let's paste it here. So this is the landing page, right? Now let's just go fill it out. Let's click on this. Let's click on that. And then let's type in an answer. This is a uh, custom response, right? And then they, they have to click it in or they can hit enter as well. No, they can just click it in. So name, uh, wait, what's it? email name. So I, this is what I messed up. I should have done first name email. That's the way it usually goes. So keep that in mind, All right? It looks weird. People are used to it being the other way. So double check that, complete the survey. That's going to take them to, first of all, it's going to add this contact to your mailing list and it's going to take them to the thank you page where you can give them the freebie lead magnet that's under this button, all right? Uh, and now we can go and check the contacts. Let's go to contacts. This is the contact that I just added. Click on it. And here, if you scroll to the bottom, you can see this survey that was filled out. And you can just kind of click on each question and you can see the answers, right? And as I mentioned before, if you had added the tags to each response, if you have like a paid account, otherwise you can't do more than one, then you can see under tag history, obviously, and you can also see them here, which tags, like the tags that apply to them will be, will be uh, clicked in like this, right? So um, yeah, you can see all the information here. That should be pretty simple. And yeah, if you have any questions or maybe I skipped something or just kind of or something just wasn't completely clear, you can just comment below and and let me know. And also, as I promised before, um, if you look at if you take a look at the description of uh, below this video, uh, you'll be able to find a free one click download um, kind of like a quiz funnel template uh, that also comes with like a uh, setup explainer video it takes you step by step what to do, where to do, when to do, all that stuff. It's similar to this one, but there might be slightly. I think the quiz I'm doing there, it's like a pop-up, which looks even better, where it's like a button on a landing page and it pops up. It looks really nice. So, um, and yeah, and also a welcome email sequence. That's that's another way to deliver the freebie lead magnet. Uh, so yeah, go check it out. That's also a good video about the same length. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys liked it. Hope this answered your questions and, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the in the next video. Bye.